Okay, hello, I'm back with another career mode save. Now, if this live commentary seems a bit different, I'm fine with that. Just let me know um, which one you like a bit more. The live commentary is a little bit easier for me to edit, so I will probably be able to produce more videos if you I do do the live commentary. So if you like more videos over for quality, then I'll take that as well. It doesn't really matter, but if I do do the... Um, voiceovers it means i won't produce as much content but on the other hands i am getting into another save uh i wanted to have two saves going i probably started this one a little bit late but it's gonna be az alkamar uh, so in my um career mode challenge ideas video i gave you a few options of like challenges to pick and then i made this one up called foreign road to glory and this one seemed like a really fun one so i'm gonna try it out you guys can try it out if you want to as well look like a really really good idea so i just decided to try it out for myself because what can go wrong so this will be the second save we do uh this one probably won't be as long as the um, Swindon Town one, mainly because it's a decent team already. It The main goal is to just bring them to Champions League glory, and the challenge is that when you're taking control in a league like the Netherlands, it's not going to have as much um, European qualifying spots, meaning it's going to be harder to qualify. That's the thought behind this road to glory so if that makes sense hopefully it does um, it's gonna be az now a couple of other teams i did mention i almost chose groningen because of their youth development but i thought az would be a really really fun one so we're gonna go ahead and get started with az alkamar a uh, world class development it's gonna be the same settings as in my save with swindon town are we in european competitions that's a question okay we are so we're in a group with man U this Polish team and this Norwegian team. So that would that's a decently tough group, especially saying that we have a decent team from England in it, but that's a trophy we could try and go deep in early on in the save. This is gonna be like my secondary save going along Swindon Town, so this won't be my main save. Okay, so in the preseason, in Netherlands we don't have that much money, so I think I will go ahead and choose the one with the most money. Okay, so right away, I think I do wanna go into the squad. Now we do have lots of good players. Quit miners. I know he's young, so he has a leadership trait. That's pretty interesting. Another good young talent. I'm not gonna be able to pronounce most of these names. Uh, I know his first name's Owen, so we'll just call him Owen. And then we've got Svensson at right back, who is probably our strongest one as well. Owen. Okay, I'm 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 dumb pronouncing these names. I'm not gonna pronounce any of them, but he'll play center mid. I'm just kind of like analyzing what we have at our disposal. So right away, I was thinking we could. Uh, switch to a 4-2-3-1 and I think that's what I'm going to do a 4-2-3-1 narrow and then we'll play Idrissi on the left Stengs who's another very good young talent we have uh, Stengs on the right with Boadu up top and then we'll have a double pivot of Classy and Mitchell okay I, I really I'm really going to need help with these names and then we'll play Goodman's there's not even D. Okay, we'll just play this dude attacking mid. It looks Icelandic, so we'll play him attacking mid. Right away, I think we could use a center back. And then maybe an attacking mid as well. It depends on the amount of money we have. Okay, so I'm going to go in the squad hub and check out who I'm going to want to transfer this. So we'll So, I have to think of that when I do so. 
I, I like to keep all my careers realistic, but that's all the people we're going to be transfer listing for now. If you do want to suggest anybody in the comments below, I will be li willing to listen to that. Okay, so let's just simulate forward. Hopefully, get a few transfer offers for the transfer listed players. Torino want him. I do want to keep Boadu. So we'll not only do that, we'll block offers. And then f we haven't got any transfer offers for anybody else. I think it would be um, a good idea to also search for a striker. I want it to be Pacey, a Pacey prolific, and then we'll make him young, and then he'll be a striker. 25, let's go 26, because this isn't going to be my starting striker, and a striker, one year, perfect. No, no, not one year, uh, I just did pre-contract, uh, five years, that's perfect. Okay, now we've got some strikers, they're not searched yet, but let's check out the um, scout reports. We've got Wuthafaze. Love his hair. We'll go ahead and shortlist him. We've got Mirabel Bokadi. He looks decent. Oh, and we all got a scout then as well. So 90s, 90s. And then Kabua and Osumi. Osumi's a left-footed center back. I don't think I want to bring in a left-footed center back because we already have two. So that's another thing to think about. And then attacking mids. We've got Peter. Is it Jerkins? He looks realistic. Uh, Jonathan David and Yari Rashawn and Chuck Redetze. I don't think they're going to come in because I don't see that happening in real life. I feel like they're going to do a bigger club. On the calendar and just skip past that. Okay, we've got Jonathan David. He's a left-footed center back. He's got a decent left-footed center back. He's got a decent left-footed center back. He's got Okay, so we beat Swansea and we beat Anderlecht as well, so that's good. We've got a few transfer offers, and only one actually, and it's for, so I'm pretty sure he is transfer listed, so we will accept that. And then, okay, that's pretty dumb from Levante, I have to admit, because he's transfer listed. Probably could get him for around 5.4 million because he's transfer listed. They decide to pay 7.4 million for his release clause. I'm not complaining, but that's pretty dumb. Okay, let's just skip past this Sheffield Wednesday game. I'm pretty sure um, we're already going through, and we've won that just to make a 100% record in the group stage. Uh, yeah, we'll just skip past this preseason tournament one more time. Uh, we'll just go here. Okay, um, we won that 2-1, so we're through to the final. Okay, uh, the youth player and Omas is sold. And then we've got scout reports on all these people. We can just check them in the shortlist. And then we've also got a transfer for DeBoer. Yeah, so he's the other keeper. So I will accept that because I want my other keeper to be back up. Uh, we've got Nelson. But here's all the um, scout reports. We've got Woot Phase. They are not willing to sign, sell him unless we pay his release clause. We've got Bocati. He looks like he's a great option. There's Jerkins. High, high work rates. I do like that. He looks like a creative player. And then these two people were still waiting for scout reports. Uh, we're not going to rush into anything because you can always find better players if you don't rush into it. So I will wait a little bit on that. Oh, and then we'll also skip the final of the preseason tournament. We have got $18 million in the bank. So we can do a lot with transfers, especially that all our players haven't been sold just yet. Uh, we've got Kramer. He can go. Okay, so Balango, he's not good enough. And then Braun, he looks decent. The problem is he has high medium work rates. Like, do I want a center back with high medium work rates? He's also 24. I'm not really too bothered about the value right now because we have lots of money. Like, right now we have 20 million in the bank. A Kramer sold, DeBoer sold, and then we've a transfer offer for our striker. No, it's a center back. Okay, we'll accept that as well. Marseille? Why do Mars? Why do Olympic Marseille? Vlar is gone. Henry is gone, and then we've got a scout report on another person I can't pronounce the name of. So he looks decent as well. First, we'll go in for this man.
And I'll keep lowering a little bit, so let's go ahead and go. We're picking up here with 4 million. I am trying to negotiate something here, because I don't want to just accept it. And they're happy with it, so we'll go ahead and try and sign him up. Okay, so we're in the office. He only wants to be a rotation player. He will be a first team player, but it's always better when he is a first, um, not a first team, a rotation player, because he'll be happy if he gets more game time. And he wants an 11.7 million release clause. I'm not going to accept that, mainly because he will get better. 2.3 million, 2.3k in the wages, I should say. Um, yeah, that's exactly what I want. So we'll get that finished. So he is in. Let's see. Uh, we'll go ahead and give him a number, because I am OCD about that. We'll give him... Give him number 18, that will do. And then I'll also give my backup keeper number 13, because that's what I think the backup keeper should be wearing. And then we'll go ahead and put him in the first team. Oh, and we'll get a bench sword as well, so we want him, he'll get a backup fullback, because he is our only backup fullback. Um, center back, do we want to get this man involved? Right there, and then we'll get Pereira involved. Do we? Okay, we don't have much defensive midfielders on the bench. Yes, yeah, so we probably want to bring in a defensive midfielder and a left back. So we'll go ahead and we'll remove the center back and attacking mid and strike. And then we'll put center mid. I think that'll do. Central midfielder. And just go first in quality. We could go other stuff, but I don't want to take him too long. And then we'll make him decently young. We'll go 26. And then I'll left back. And first in quality. And then we'll make him young as well. Is there anything else we need? Um, I think we... Uh, but first, let's go ahead and sign center back. Um, let's get hit rid of him. I'll go for Bowen, maybe because he can play right back as well. So we'll try and bring Dylan Bowen in. I've just accidentally, so I guess we're not signing him. We'll go for Bacardi. Um, I would sign Bowen, but I messed it up big time. My penis release clause. Um, so Bacardi, um, we don't really want to swap anyone because we need the depth. We'll go for 3 million. Is he happy with that? 2.25 million. I'm happy with that. That's good. That's good. And then we'll go ahead and negotiate that contract. Um, okay. I don't think he'll go straight into my first team because my other center back is 73 rating. But he'll be a good backup to have and he probably will come in the team a few times. I will deny the release clause. And then, Couch, so he's on 8.38 right now. We'll go 9k just to give him a little increase and try to tempt him here. Tempt him here. Okay, so these two people are in. Really, right now, we just need to improve squad depth. Other than that, we're fine. Okay, so one other thing I do want to do is check the free agents list. We can find a decent free agent. Uh, I'm not going to go for some position. Let's just see who we can find. Um, if we can find a decent goalkeeper to be our third choice, that would be great. Because we don't have a third choice keeper. Um, Hall, Hall Dorsey, he could work. He's a veteran. Like, I kind of want to bring a veteran in. And he could probably be a good one. Uh, do we have any left backs here that look decent? I don't want to buy anyone that don't have a face. He doesn't look the best. Yes, I don't think we'll find any left backs. Uh, Burke, here, be honest. Be honest why not, man? Get three as random people in the team. Or we can bring any, someone else in. And then we've got Roman Biz Jack. We'll just call him Roman. He could be a decent player on the team. A third choice striker. Um, okay, yeah. So we'll just try and sign him. And then we'll also get some more people in these as well. We're up to the Fortuna Sitard game. We're going to do that tomorrow. But we'll see what this has got us. Person I do want to bring in, and that's Hall Dorson. He'd be a good veteran to have as a third choice keeper. Probably not going to play. But he'll be good to have as like more backup, more more coming in as like a dressing room leader. Uh, we'll start on prospects because I don't really know what he's expecting, and they won't storm out from this. So we'll just go sporadic there. Uh, we only want a one-year contract, not too long, because he's not going to be here for long. Uh, oh my gosh, I almost ended the negotiation. <laughs> and then, do we want to bring? Okay, what wage do we want? We're really happy with four k a week. He's happy. Okay, so Hall Dorson is in. What rating is he? He's sixty-six rating. He won't be my backup. He'll be my third choice, even though he's a little bit better in rating. I wasn't even realizing it. He could play as a defensive mid. I didn't even realize it, but he's, like, perfect for this. So we'll go ahead and try and bring him in. Um, rotational player, I think he will be a, he will be a rotational player. Um, uh, yeah, I think three years is good because he's 31. Release cause I will accept that because I don't want a release cause in it. And then what's his wage going to be? Uh, we'll give him 6k a week. Six, hold on, we're going to 4k, so we'll go to 6k. He's happy, okay, so he is in. Uh, Bjarnason, we're just trying to s sign cheap options, and then let's go ahead and sign a left back. Uh, who do we want? Who looks better? So this is why I'm tempted for him a little bit more. They're the same age. I don't know what amount of money to offer them. I'll start at 2.7 million. I think that's a good start. I probably should have them. I'm just rushing into this episode mainly because I wanted to get this transferred out in this episode at 2.7 million. I guess that perfectly. Uh, okay, we'll go down 2.6 million with a 10% selling clause. I think that will be all the signings this episode. We may make one next episode, but it's a bit of wheeling and dealing. I hope you liked it. Um, he's 70 rating, so that's good. That's really good. If you do enjoy this series, whoa. 
before <laughs> what is happening in the press conference room sorry okay please let me know if you did enjoy this video i will make more of them if you do enjoy it um if you like the swindon town ones more let me know i'll try and do those and another thing i want you to ask you if you do enjoy is the live commentary if you don't enjoy it i'll try and revert back to the voiceovers it's just a little bit easier for me doing live commentary because then I don't have to take the time to voice over it. But with that said, that will be the end of today's episode. If you did enjoy, please do drop a like and I will see you in the next episode.